Cool. So, welcome back to Vibes of Steel. Uh, today, or now, or whenever you're watching this, we've got a new song from High on Fire that came out today. It's been a little while since they put out an album. I think their last one was that Electric Messiah, which came out in... Oh no, they had The Art of Self-Defense last year. What? Oh, it's an EP. Whatever. Same thing. Their last actual full-length uh, came out in 2018. Anyway, we've got Burning Down. Obviously the band sort of fronted by Matt Pike, who you may or may not know is from... The album's called Dope Smoker. <laughs> the band's called Sleep. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is usually hard rockin' kind of stuff. Definitely has the Doom vibes, definitely has like a sludgy vibe, but it's definitely just sort of high voltage and generally pretty good. I didn't like Electric Messiah as much as some of their earlier stuff, but it was still fine. Uh, so let's see what they got going on in 2024 with Burning Down. Let's go. Very Black Sabbath. Nice little riff. Tone's cool, very fuzzy. Sounds good too. Very audible. Nice riff. Fuck me. Sounds great. Yeah, and he's an old guy now, so <laughs> sounding great. Really like that riff.
still going. <laughs> I'm quite impressed by the vocal. Maybe the sound really good. Maybe the tone of it and how they record it is kind of great. Play that riff for fucking ten minutes and I will get bored. First one wasn't enough. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that was High on Fire Burning Down. What I like about it, pretty much everything. <laughs> just the riff writing alone, I think, is just so solid. And the tone of the guitar was really meaty and full. And even like the bass, despite the guitars sounding very large and loud, the bass still comes through. And I think that's really, it's really good. I don't know what to call this style of music really. To me, it's just, you can't call it doom because it's too fast, right? So for me, it's just sort of a, a metal song. I don't know. It's like sludge, but it's not sludge. It's not doom. It's sort of stoner, I suppose. Um, obviously high on fire, you know, whatever. To me, it's, it, I guess you could call it stoner rock, I suppose, or stoner metal, I suppose. To me, it just sort of sounds like fast doom and that's fine. But that main verse riff, that dun, 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 like that just sounds really good. And the how they come out of it each time, that sort of turnaround at the end, uh, I think that is perfect for the riff. The vocal, I think, also was really powerful and really uh, impactful in the whole song. I believe this is better than anything else on their last record, that Electric Messiah. Again, I'm not slagging the record, but I really like this song. Do you think the guitar solo was maybe didn't need to be that long and if it was going to be that long I, again I, I think he sort of lost the plot a little bit in the middle but i liked the one at the end as well he didn't really like play the solo the whole way when it was fading out he held a, a bend at some point again but it's it's just little things you notice right so they just kept that riff going the whole way and again you know they're playing the same riff for minutes at a time and if you have a really great riff, you can do that. If you don't, you can't. So, really great job. I am stoked for the record. It's called Cometh the Storm. Well, it's got a little pirate ship and shit on it. Um, same artist, I'm sure, that has done other ones. Uh, at least the Snakes for the Divine record. It's very similar. Anyway, that is going to do it for Vibes of Steel on this episode. Uh, check out High on Fire. There'll be a link uh, to probably pre-order the record or to the, the track here. Anyway, that was High on Fire. That was Vibes of Steel. Deuce. <laughs>